are you going somewhere? Traveling to Paris in a few weeks. This is a long trip in the airplane, around three hours. Three hours? Why are you so surprised? You are traveling from one country to another. Anyway, I am scared of planes. We can use a car instead. Then you will not reach Paris anytime soon. You need to travel by airplane. It is much faster to fly this long distance. But look at the map. It is not that far. The map doesn't show you exactly the distance that you will travel. What you see here is half a meter. But you actually travel thousands of kilometers. What is the difference? See, I can form a meter with only one step. This is different. Every kilometer is 1,000 meters. And there are more than 3,000 kilometers to reach Paris. You can't travel this far on foot, nor in the car. It takes forever. If I travel on foot, I will be 20 years old when I reach there. <laughs> Well, traveling to Paris is not like going to Abu Kamil supermarket. There are places you can reach using the car or going on foot. But there are far away places that we need the airplane or the ship to go there faster. If you want to know more about distances and how to measure how far things are, you will need to watch this episode. What are you calculating? I am trying to find out if it is faster for me to walk to school or use the bus. This means we need to find out how far your school is from your home. Let us try using jelly beans. Oh, this will take forever. I can't continue. I will be late. This means that measuring how far your school is from home cannot be done using jelly beans. We need a special measuring tool. Jelly beans are too small. Let us try using rulers. This will take hours. I am tired. Wait, my dad used a measuring tape to measure the length of our room when he wanted to buy a new bedroom. Measuring tape might be a good idea. Try measuring the distance using it. You need to keep a record. So you won't get lost with the distances you are measuring. This measuring tape can take the distance of 3 to 5 meters. This is short. What about using a rope? It can measure up to 100 meters. My dad used it to measure the distance around our house. He wanted to build a new fence. It might be a good idea, but I think you will need more than one rope. The school is farther than 100 meters. I used two ropes. Ah, 200 meters? Well, yes, I guess you can walk to school. But would you go on foot if the distance was more than 200 meters? Let's say 1,000 meters a kilometer. I think it will take so long. Exactly. It will be tiring for you as well. The bus or the car can travel from one place to another, covering the distance in less time than walking. Um, can I use the ropes to measure the distance from my feet to my head? You mean your height? You want to know how tall you are? You can use the measuring tape. It is definitely a shorter distance than that from your home to school. It has on it numbers of meters. You can read it easily. I guess you are about one meter and a half. Whoa, as if you already know. Give a guess. How far is my home from the supermarket at the end of the road? Why give a guess? Let's use as many ropes as we want. Three ropes? 300 meters? Now, give a guess about my weight. 30, 40, or 60 meters? Well, we are not measuring distance anymore. 
We can't use meters. Why not? What are you doing? That won't tell your weight. To measure the weight of anything, you use a balance. It tells us the weight in kilograms. Have a look at this bag of flour. Should I measure its weight using the measuring tape? Of course, I will not figure out its weight using a measuring tape. I need a balance. I will weigh it and see how much it weighs. Oh, it is exactly one kilogram. I will weigh myself. I weigh 37 kilos. You are as heavy as 37 bags of flour. When I want to prepare a pizza dough, I have to measure the ingredients so that I will have a good dough. Let's weigh the dry ingredients together. I need one kilogram of flour, 32 grams of sugar, I need 10 grams of yeast, and I need three grams of salt. You are adding salt too? How come? I am just adding three grams, not three kilograms. It won't taste salty. Looking at the ingredients, which ingredient did you notice I put the most? Flour, because it was one kilogram. The rest are in grams. Right. Every one kilogram is 1,000 grams in measuring weight. Well, this is one gram of flour versus one kilogram. Look over here. This is one gram of flour. One gram of flour. I will go home to help my mom prepare pizza dough. You made me feel hungry. Good idea, but make sure to weigh the ingredients. One kilo of salt is not the same as one gram. And you, my friends, share your favorite recipe in the comments. But don't forget to include all the ingredients and their correct amounts. Bye. لمشاهدة المزيد من الحلقات زوروا سات سفن بلاس